Hey guys, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to solve the Git problem, which is the Git is not recognized as an internal or external command, operable program or batch file. In most cases, the solution to fixing this problem is very simple. First, find out where your Git is installed on Windows. For me, it's C program files slash git and the actual executable file is located within the cmd folder now for this reason many people forget to also specify the cmd folder in the next step now we need to add this path to your environment variables so go ahead and go to your start button and start typing environment variables you don't even have to finish typing it just click open button now on this window that shows up go to environment variables button now here on top, we have user variables and at the bottom we have system variables. You can add this variable to either box, but I'm going to go ahead with system variables. Just scroll down and find the path variable. Now click on the edit button and on this window, click on the new button. Okay. So what you want to do is simply enter the path to your Git installation. For me, again, it was program files slash uppercase git slash cmd. Don't forget the cmd folder because that's where git.exe file is. Now click OK button three times in a row to validate these settings. And now going back to the command prompt, if you type the git command, you'll still get the same error. Git is not recognized as an internal or external command, operable program or batch file. But this is only because in order for changes to take place, we need to restart our command prompt. Now that it's restarted, type git dash dash version and there you have it. Now you can call git from anywhere on your hard drive. 